Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to another episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Now, a few, no a th a few things I noticed the last time was that the park got a little bit darker towards some of the ending scenes where the sun actually went down uh, and the guests were trying to find the different paths and they don't seem to be able to reach the uh, various rides very easily so what I was going to do in this episode was probably add like a transport system uh, to the other side of the park so that they'll be able to make it uh, from one end of the park to the other easily. Also, since there's not too many Halloween themed rides and decorations uh, I was thinking about in this episode adding some of the uh, animatronics as well as possibly um, including some of the sci-fi themed events as well from it's mostly things like aliens and robots which you do see a lot of at Halloween kids dressed as robots or kids dressed as aliens so I'm going to do some research into those and see which ones actually excuse me and see which ones actually fit into our um, our theme. So let's take a look first at building a transport system. What we're going to want first is the station set up right along the main path. And what I think I'll do is probably time lapse that footage where I build the beginning train station all the way to the other, other end of the park and I believe it's going to be the locomotive I talked about with you in the first episode. So without the, uh, further ado, I'll see you there.
Alright, sorry that took so long, but there was a lot of editing to do. I hope you like it. It's a nice little railway that'll help take all the guests from one side of the park all the way to the other. And I imagine it has a pretty good view of all the rides and attractions as well. So I don't want to let this be the entire episode, though, because that wouldn't be much fun. So, after that little bit of a uh, time ramp or what have you, I think it's about time we added some more either rides and attractions or what I've been thinking is possibly the animatronics. Uh, the animatronics are really cool looking, so I'm just going to go right on ahead and start adding a few of them to see what they look like. Now, if we come out of this here, and then we go to... should be... let's see, was it shot? No, it's scenery, definitely scenery. Uh, let's see, path extras. We're going to need trash cans, lights, stuff like that. Uh, we're going to take out everything except for Halloween and I guess sci-fi. Uh, let's see, we're going to need a couple of benches, I suppose, for people to sit down. Let's see, let's add one near most of the rides. One right there, one right there near the lights, that's always good. One right there. Then we'll add one right here. It's a lot of benches, I know, but eh, you know, it's all for scenery. It's all for effect. The main reason I've been thinking about adding the transport system is because it seems like a lot of the... Wow, there's a lot of puke over there. <laughs> a lot of the peeps aren't actually discovering some of the other rides. And I guess now I could open that train, but I'd need to make a few paths from it to the regular areas. So let's go on ahead and do that, shall we? Let's exit out of this. Then we'll select this station. Go to our path selection. Get our generic path going on. And we're going to need an entrance and an exit here for when people get off the train. So actually, we're going to have to come out of the paths menu. Oh, delete that. Blast it. Excuse me. And we're going to need to click on part of this. No! Not after all that hard work. I do not want to delete it. Let's come out of that. Go into the construction menu. Mirror Maze 1 have failed. Ah, yes. I need to hire more mechanics as well. Uh, a lot of the park rides are failing. See, I told you it's going to be interesting trying to hire enough people and do enough things in time to actually get the park running. So... Let's go to, I guess, Park Operations, and we're going to go to Hire Staff, and we're going to get another, let's see, we're going to need to place them first. So this one, I guess I'll place near Mirror Maze 1. Uh, we're going to need to get another janitor, definitely another janitor, and another mechanic. Let's see now, should be this guy right here. Okay, so that should keep us good for a little bit while. Now, let's over, head over back here towards the train station. Exit out of his menu. Select part of the train. And then select a... Now how do I... I need an entrance and exit. That's going to be details, I suppose. Now, I hope it's not going to overwrite the entrance and exit on the other side. People can enter over here and exit over here. Now, that should be perfect as long as it didn't overwrite the entrance and exit on the other side. Is that, is that level? It's level enough for now. You saw all my tweaking and I tried to do all of that, you know, outside of the um, camera so that I could... Yeah, there's an entrance and exit here as well. So, let's add some paths, shall we? First, we're going to get our basic path, our crazy path, crazy paving. We're going to need to angle that down, then connect it to the main path. And then, since this is our cue path, we're going to... Whoa! Ah, oh, that's our basic path. Let's get rid of those. No! They keep trying to mess me up. They ain't going to do it. I ain't gonna let him do it. Now that's our Q path, right? Yes, yes it is. Let's see, Q's. 
Let's go with spooky on this one. Go down, and then connect to the ground. And that should be good. So it's still testing. Now let's add the paths on the other side of the park. And connect them to the main path over there. Because see, as you can see, peeps are starting to come over here. But they're not really... I don't even know how many people are on this ride. Let's check. Oh, jeez, what did I... I just added a path. And I decided to go with the daylight time. Change day slash night mode. Let's see. Uh, day and night. Okay, so maybe that'll switch between day and night. Because one is always daytime, always nighttime, day and nighttime. Okay, so that's a natural progression, I suppose. Spooky wheel open. I guess there's zero on ride. Let's get these paths over here. We're going to get the Q path first. Go spooky. And then we're going to focus mainly on the exit path making sure to connect that to the basic path. Uh, let's see. Mirror maze one, huh? Yikes. Well, what I want to do is connect this here to our Q path. Make sure I get... Did I make sure? Yeah, that's good. That's good. We're going to bring this out, keep painting it along. Apparently that's... That hill area is just too much. Come on, let me, let me click and drag. There's so many, so many hills, that's why. So many little peaks and valleys. And we're going to want to connect it over here to this um, crazy paving. So hopefully people will discover it. Come on, keep painting it along there. Painting it along. There we go. Okay, so it's got a good rustic, leafy kind of feel to it. It's probably going to need some uh, lights and different types of things later on. Uh, let's go on ahead and exit that and then go to click on any part of the ride and click I guess oof, I'm gonna need to come up with some more music later on obviously but we're gonna wanna open it now excellent so that's not half bad the train I picked the you know most I picked the most uh, like you know Halloween type looking car I, I could possibly find which wasn't really much, but um, let's see, this one piece of path here is bugging me. Uh, let's see, go to terrain editing, and then we're going to go to terrain shaping, individual terrain pieces here, and just bring, whoa, let's see now, can I, I can smooth it out, I suppose, that music is obnoxious, I know, okay, come out of the music there. So it's not looking half bad. It's not looking half bad. I'll probably have to do some off-camera work, I think, because there's still a long way to go. We need lights, we need trash bins, benches, uh, all, ki all kinds of little different attractions, new rides and everything, the whole zombie topiary, a giant maze. Hmm, yeah, it looks like there might be some off-camera work or some more, uh, some more fast paced, uh, for more fast paced action. I think I'm gonna add some of the last features in the final episode, and then I'll get back with you. I'm gonna do some off camera work, cause we've still got a long way to go. As a matter of fact, if I zoom out here, you'll see that there is still a long part of this park to fill. We got all this over here, which I plan on making another train station to get to. A little bit over there. So, I'm going to do some nighttime editing, and I'll see you in the next episode. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.